team is the one who like we all get each other open so I'm grateful like we could come back after being out for so long like we're like slowly meshing together so honestly like I'm glad like I'm happy with how we played together like still like grinded it through so I'm grateful for that. Now did you feel like a, like I felt like you know today was might have been a slower start because you guys had so many days off but then you guys came out and you just fired away so do you think that the time off helped you? Um, I think time off always does help because it gives your body a rest but um, kind of like too much time is not a good thing, but I think we did a good job about coming back because like it was a slow start, but it was just like us like just getting back into the groove of things. But I think we executed pretty well, especially our defense, like our defense um, was still solid, which is really good. You guys had a kind of a slower start um, out of the third quarter. Um, do you got, do you, uh, where do you feel like you guys went wrong um, to kind of like get your offense clicking? And then once it clicked, you guys were on a roll again. Um. I think it was, it's just because like we haven't been like in the gym for so long or, or at least in like game situations for so long. So it was kind of like us, like it was just, it was just a, like a little lapse, but um, we came back from it and that's all that matters, so. Um, what now, uh, it's like you don't want to get too comfortable going into game mm -hmm. two, so what do you feel like your team still needs to work on and perfect before taking you back on tomorrow? Definitely still um, have to work on our um, scouting report defense. That's always a must. Um, I think that we can, work on um, better defense um, on driving and helping. Uh, Utah State really did um, good about exposing that, like putting their head down and driving on us. So I think we can do better just uh, being in a better stance and being ready for that. So. Cool. All right. Bye. Yeah, you know, when we were paused and I was able to go back to practice for the first time, I told the team it was like the first day of official practice for the season. Like I was that excited about it. And I figured they felt the same way about almost like a first game. Um, so I anticipated kind of having some jitters or people just being so excited to play that we kind of did too much. And you did see a little bit of that early, I thought. But I thought defensively, our team did just a fantastic job. I, our effort on transition defense was phenomenal. And that was a huge key to this game. So. Um, I thought our focus, um, that didn't miss a beat from our pause. You know, the way that we were able to execute what we wanted to do on defense, I thought was really, really good. And offensively, you know, we weren't in a great rhythm, but that honestly is kind of to be expected. But at the same time, we're not going to have practice time for tomorrow. So we're going to have to do, be a lot better, I feel like, tomorrow and try to get better quick before we go to Air Force as well. Yeah, I, just for Letta, I think everyone's finally getting to see, you know, what we have known all along. And she's just had some tough luck this year of, you know, missing games and kind of being out and things like that. And it's just held her back from really getting to her full potential. Um, but this was great. You know, I think she had a, a fantastic game. And Dom, obviously having her back is just a huge help because she can score and she's so versatile. And then she's a returner. She knows what she's supposed to be doing and has played a year in our system. So that o that experience is always extremely helpful, too. Do you feel like there's an added pressure going into tomorrow's game because you guys had such a dominant performance during the first game? Not necessarily pressure, but I, I kind of just told our team, like, how many splits have there been in these two-game series? A lot of times you see a team maybe win by a lot the first game and they don't win the second game. So, you know, stuff goes out the window. Tomorrow's a new day, and we have to be better than we were today. And whatever happened today does not matter tomorrow. Like, we have to go out and win those 40 minutes. So we can feel good about this tonight and enjoy it. But tomorrow, we got to get back to work and, you know, play better than we did today and do the things that we didn't do as well as we could have today better tomorrow. And I think for them, you know, they struggle to score. And they're a team that, you know, they shoot a lot of shots, and they're capable of scoring. And so there are players that maybe didn't shoot well. We know they're going to be extremely motivated tomorrow. And we can't have any let ups. What would you say is the biggest key in the game tomorrow um, that the girls need to work on um, from today's game going into it? You know, offensively, I thought we settled for too many jump shots early in the game, and we weren't. Um, 
we weren't very uh, precise with executing in the half court. Um, I thought just our rhythm and stuff wasn't great. And so we just, we need to be a little bit better in terms of being in sync with each other, especially against the zone and what we're looking for against the zone. And then, you know, defensively, I thought we fouled them a little bit too much um, on plays where we didn't need to foul and we were in a good position and somebody comes over out of position and makes an undisciplined play. Um, and then, you know, rebounding, we ended up out rebounding them by a lot. And yeah. so, you know, on their side, I'm sure that's something that's going to be a huge key for them. And so we need to do a, a good job keeping them off the boards of tomorrow. Jack, how much momentum do you think that are you guys using and you can stress to them? They need to not only play tomorrow, but help boost their confidence to also dominate their boards to go into the tournament. Yeah, I mean, I just told them, like, we kind of control our own destiny. And that's a great thing, you know, like, at this point, we're not worried about what anybody else is doing. If we just continue to play well and put ourselves in a position to win these games, then we can kind of control how we finish. And so I don't want our team to feel pressure like, oh, we have to win. But it's also, you know, what a cool thing that you're the only ones that get to kind of decide, you know. And so I want them to embrace the opportunity and, you know, look at it that way. And I think, like, when you start talking about, like, having to win and a must win, those kind of things, not everybody handles that well. You know, and so when you talk about like, hey, this is a, a cool moment in your life that you might you might never get again, honestly. And we talked about that with in the pregame about being excited. And it's like, how lucky are we that we get to feel nervous or excited about something because it means as much to us. And so like embracing those types of feelings and um, opportunities when they come your way, I think it's really unique to athletics or just things that are important in your life. And so I want our team to just enjoy them.